A very good evening to all of you watching us today on the Spotlight on Vasantham TV and Prime Television, the official YouTube channel of Prime Television. Now today we have with us yet another story that ignites change. Well, it's not only one story. We have two people joining us today. It's a very interesting field, uh, a, a sport that uh, is quite new to Sri Lanka, but you know it is getting famous. So, without any further delay, let me introduce Ashwita Vikrama and Maurice Navaratna, off-road and go-kart racing drivers from the team Devils on Wheels. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Thank for, having you for having us. Right. So without any further delay, let me introduce our guests. Now on my extreme left, we have Ashwita Vikrama joining us today. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. And on my immediate left, uh, I have Maris Navaratna joining in as well. Now this is a duo. Uh, so they are off-road and go-kart racing drivers from the team Devils on Wheels. Thank you for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so my first question for the two of you. You, you all have the freedom to answer together. Okay, so the first question is, what is, you know, off-roading? What is this concept of, you know, racing driving in Sri Lanka? Off-roading is sort of like an extreme sport, I would mm. say, where um, the format of racing is you take on very um, sort of it's not a track or a circuit of some okay. kind, so it's very natural. Man-made, uh, basically. Okay. So mm -hmm. you all don't follow the road? No. No, it's okay. just, that's why it's called off-road. Off it's basically right. off the road. So, yeah, so basically it would be in a jungle. It could mm. be, it doesn't always have to be muddy. It could be like with hills, rocks. So basically something. So is it very new to Sri Lanka? Or has mm. it been there for no, a long time? No, no, it's been it's there, been there okay. for a long time. Um, but I guess like it's a sport that has a lot of um, obstacles again mm. um, and it's also not like it's short courses what do you like mean? as in like um, each stint yeah uh, we would run for like let's say it's called a DNF time did not finish so 20 right. minutes per set okay uh, so during that 20 minutes you need to finish all your obstacles so right, so it's a, it's like a challenge. Yes, yes basically. Okay. So, how so there will be like a track. Let's say they will come and first tell us, okay, this is your first yes. stage um. where it would have, let's say, a rocky uphill or okay. a river yeah. to cross or something like that, and then you are given an allocated time of ten or fifteen minutes. Mm to finish, finish that course right so, so you have to kind of yeah, and drive then, your way through so it's not that you'll just get mm. to the wheel and just drive no, around no so you get stuck challenge. like you will get stuck and then you will have to winch your way out of the mud or like as in the so two of you have to do it alone yeah. yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> my goodness yeah. so all that needs to be done within that 15 to 20 minute time frame and how you're graded or categorized your time is depending on how quick you can finish that particular segment. Oh, right. So how did you get into this? So uh, my dad has been into okay. racing and off-roading. Yeah. And then we kind of got invited to run an off-roading event in Malaysia. Mm. Uh, basically, they wanted a team from Sri Lanka, yeah. two girls. Okay. Um, so I was approached and then I roped Maurice into <laughs> coming. <laughs> um, and it yeah, just happened it so just fast, happened really, really fast. Because, yes, because we were only into uh, go kart racing back then, and we basically had about six three, months. No, six, yeah, about six, six months. months hmm. Yeah, to, to kind of prepare uh, ourselves, and it was just so off roading. It could you could also it's not just uh, extreme. You could okay. start with like the basics of off-roading and then you could go into the extremes. But we so it's like levels. Yeah, yeah there are levels. Say, yeah. yeah. But you get the standard class, then you get the standard modified, right? And then you get the extreme. Which so, is. so how did you get into the field of, you know, off-roading? So, uh, so basically, she's. We did she know that you had a, you know, like mm. a side for this? Or uh, was it? No, it was just she um, just needed a teammate. Yeah, because I needed a girl to yeah, come okay. on because it had to be like a full girls team. Okay. So yeah. I got approached saying, "Are you are you willing to do this? And you need to find a teammate." Mm -hmm. And I literally called up and I was like, uh, <laughs> so this is the thing, um, are you interested really? in okay. the idea? And she was like, yeah. So then we had some training and 
preparation here yeah. before we went is to Malaysia. Is there special training for this? Um, no. Not really, really, but we but then you also train? need to learn the basics of like yeah. using a wind okay. and uh, yeah. driving driving the jeep like in the mud and things like that. So yeah, you have to get used to it. No? Yes. yes, a little bit. Okay, so were you all friends before? I'm assuming you were good friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes. By, by the time we started off off yes. yes we okay, were. so you all had a common so. You were mentioning that she approached she you, approached, yeah. <laughs> and then you eventually started liking it. Is it? No, I liked it in one instant. Instant. She called, me, okay. she called me in the night, and I was like, "Yes." <laughs> and yours, you seem to be the adventurous type as well. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, after that, both of you. So, how do you all take turns in driving, or how? No, how I it? drive. She drives. I uh, co-drive. Co-drive. Right. And what is your role? Basically, to pull her out from the mud. <laughs> Basically, so when I get stuck, stuck, she pulls me out. <laughs> yeah. How do you pull so that jeep out? It weighs. Uh, so there is a winch rope, and there is you need to uh, secure it. Basically, secure it in a um, on a tree. Another, or yeah. Not the anchor, anchor point, yeah, basically, basically, where you think is strong enough to uh, pull the jeep out. Mm. So it's a process of taking all the equipment with you probably running say 50 60 meters or even more yeah through mud yeah so it might be so during that mud. short stage you might have to winch once twice if you're lucky not at all so it just depends yeah. on each uh, stint you take part in basically so how are you all judged do you all i all judged based on completion of yes, the, the challenge time, the time you complete right. yeah so basically the faster you complete it, there will be a ranking. So if there's yeah. 10 competitors, whoever finishes uh -huh. fastest will be ranked first, second mm. and so forth. Yeah. Then also there are certain markers on the track where they will like sort of put um, tape or like yeah. sticks to kind of say you can't go beyond this point in mm. a certain track. And if you do, then you get debits. Yeah, you get debits so if you break Even those. if you are the first ranked in your section, if you break those markers, then you get a debit. So you keep, you get your points deducted. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure while you, while you pull your truck out and you secure everything that you are within that range. range. So, how dangerous is this sport? It's pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. So is it fatal? Um, have not there been fatal. instances where you know people have lost their lives? No, no, it, no. Depends. Depends. No, I don't think. No one has Like if a winch rope snaps? Uh, maybe if you, like, yeah. I mean, if you're not careful. I mean, see, it is an extreme Yeah, it is an extreme But then we take all the precautions we have. And also, if you don't take the necessary precautions, you also get debited. So yes. the organizers oh, also right. make sure that your safety comes first. Yeah. So, so if we even winch mask. wrong, yeah. we get debited. Yeah, that's true. If you don't wear helmets, gloves, gloves. seat belts, you get debited. So those things are sort of looked into very carefully. It may not be fatal, but mm. like we've had people, people you know, break, break bones. Yeah, bones and like if right. you if your jeep rolls, then you need to like know yeah, like how to like not put your hands out and just like you know brace yourselves mm. so that because uh, we've had competitors who've toppled, yeah. broken fingers, kind of situation. My gosh. <laughs> yeah. Have you all ever wanted to switch roles, as in for you to drive and for you to navigate? Oh yeah. Uh, we once we ran did once in one, Malaysia. one stage where yeah. we swapped. Um, so but is it uh, so once you are the driver, are you designated for that? Not you know some life? competitions. Really depends yes. What you take part in. The so it depends on the regulations. Rules. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you are allowed to switch, depending on the rules. Okay. And some you cannot. Some. The designated driver will what be. What about designated. in general? Is it? It's. I can't say it's illegal, but do you all have the freedom to switch up whenever yeah, you feel like? Most competitions, yes. Yes. Ah. Yeah. So, in Sri Lanka, how are you all the only female? I can't say so. No? But are there more there female? There have been divorce? like females who've competed yeah, in, in like standard, standard classes, classes and and but not like for that. extreme. We're the first team. First, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. You all have toured around the world, or uh, just not Malaysia. Malaysia? Twice to Malaysia. Okay, what so Malaysia that like? was our first. Like when you got into off-roading, we didn't even off-road in Sri Lanka. No, our we ran the first, first standard. We, we ran, ran a first standard, standard event just to in get Sri an Lanka idea. Okay. to kind of like 
know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. feeling of it. Yeah. Did you? What was that first experience? Was that was okay. That was like that was not fine. Nerve. No, um, it was a standard event. So okay. it was uh, not, not very extreme. Yeah. Like the track was a bit more, let's say, lenient. Lenient. Kind. Yes. So, are there any special places that you all had, you know, in Sri Lanka where you all practice or train in terms of things like that? Yes. yes. Okay. There are certain properties Property. where we've gone and trained that. Mm. So it's designated for. Yeah. Off-roading, yeah, yes. sort mm. of. It has a few obstacles which ah, right. you can go and run on and kind of get a feel of feel of it. Yeah, uh, you know, in terms of competition, you all compete. Is there, you know, how do you all train physically? Do you all gym? What are days of training like? I, you know, uh, I do a lot of I I gym. I okay. do a lot of strength. Work. Yeah. endurance. I work on that side because as a co-driver, you have a lot of running exactly. to do. Exactly. Mm. Uh, so you and it's a lot of physical work as yes, well, isn't it? Correct. So uh, I basically train thrice a week. Right. Okay. What about you? Is um, it more easy going for you a since you drive? More, a bit more easy going. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, prep wise, there's a lot in terms of um, the vehicle. You know, making sure everything is okay. Uh, because that's like a huge part of what we do. Yeah. So that the vehicle doesn't fail on us, um, and obviously it's a very extreme course to drive through. So just making sure every aspect of the vehicle is okay. Okay. So what about you know how do you prepare mentally for a race? We we just you know we go we see the track. Yeah. We would walk like we would go check out the track. Yeah. Because. Uh, they they give us time we could okay. like go check out the track check out the tra terrain mm. to see how it yeah, is yeah because there must be a few things that you all yeah. have to get yes. on before yeah, yeah. 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 so we kind of plan what we're yeah. going to do we get for about 10 15 minutes yeah. from mm. each stint to just uh, kind of figure out what we're to, doing yeah the strategy basically, yeah. basically. whether we are going to win so whether mm. we are going to drive through it so yeah. it just yeah. depends just backup plans yes. do you all get <laughs> nervous yes, yes. <laughs> Even after years of competing, it's still a feeling. Because isn't every yes. yes, because every stage is different. So, mm. like for a day, we would run roughly say five to six stages. So every stage is different, and every competition is it's different. Because really? we've yeah. been to Malaysia twice now, okay. and yeah. you know each competition has been different. So it depends because every year it might happen in a different area. Mm. So the terrain, terrain is, is different. different. The weather could be different. We could sometimes run SSS in the night, so really? it's like dark. Yes. yes. Um, so well, our vehicles have lights. Yeah, and they all do have that. No, but still, you, I mean, if you get stuck in a ditch or something, yes. how do you? So we actually we like ran one once. that was in the night, night and it rained. Yeah, and it rained. It, it rained. Really yeah, do this even in the rain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, rain, rain. shine, you would get wet, you would get dried to the sun. Yeah. Seems fun. <laughs> but yeah. also, do, do people have the opportunity to come and watch? Yes. Yes, really. Yes, of course. Yes. Is there like a, I can't say there's an uh, arena, but there's no, no like spectator, like yeah, grandstand okay. kind of thing. But because you get a lot of the jungle. people coming in to see because it's something very intriguing. It's yeah. Just not it's just not a track event. It's just and everyone's probably on the edge of their seats, you know, yeah. trying yeah. to figure out who's going to win. Because yeah. it's very on the edge sort yeah. of thing. So it's a very narrow. True. So I mean, people, there is an interest that you know, people yes. do have that interest yes. in Sri yes. Lanka, which is a good thing. Yes, yes, definitely. So in terms of awards, have you all, you know, do you all have anything up your sleeve? Uh, we won both, both years in, in Malaysia. Malaysia, so we okay. came uh, second, second runners up, up. both wow. years. Um, and Representing Sri Lanka. Yes. Correct. Wow. Uh, so that is on a sort of like an international level competition where there's been competitors from other countries as well. Like we've had competition from Italy, mm. Czech Republic, Australia, several countries. Um, so yeah, we've got that. Then we've got karting. Years achieve of years of karting. Yeah. Karting is different. Yeah, yes, right. it's very yes. different. Because <laughs> but do you all still continue? Um, it? not anymore. I haven't mm. done in, not in a while. Yeah, 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 in a while. Um, but yeah, we were also the first all. We were part of the first, first all, girls all girls team to run a team to run an endurance, endurance like a six, six hour, hour endurance. 
team were karting. We? No, we had uh, uh, two, two, two other, other girls. Team because we needed two other girls. Yeah. So it was a four, a member, four, four, team. four member, member team. All but girls. I mean, the two of you were yes. in it. Yeah. What was that like? It's Six fun. hours of endurance. A lot of no, driving. so it's basically we take turns to drive. Okay. So sometimes you get to run 45 minutes at a stretch okay. or like one hour, but then it's in the hot sun. Yeah. So, so it's like constant driving. Yeah, constant driving for, for six, six hours, hours. But then you do a driver change. You do tire changes, refueling. So you come into the pit, but it has to be super quick. So basically, like one driver gets in. Yeah, one driver gets the out. The other one gets out. Really quick. What yeah. about? I mean, six hours. It might seem like a very basic question, but what about food? What so about all eat, of that? So you take you all the way? She's driving, then the rest of the three girls are out. So, you so I will like drive for like 45, 45 minutes, minutes, one hour, and then come back, get out. Then she then would get back in. Y'all are doing this individually. Uh, it's a team, but okay. a team. you race one car. So you take turns to ride that six hours. Right. So it's a four-member team, yeah. six hours. of. So just while one person driving. is on the track track the remaining three, three are, but then they are also strategy I, planning they tell mm. like we would talk to and be like okay the next team is right behind you or you need to push yourself more or like keep your pace so things yeah. like that you need to communicate to the driver give her tips yeah talk keep to her, her more because motivated, motivated really sometimes we have like a whiteboard where we write yeah. like stuff and just show right. it to the driver because you can't because really it's quite tiring when yeah. you have yeah. to keep going round and round for like 45 minutes to one hour so. i don't even <laughs> i can't even imagine what that's like so what now you were saying you'll compete with international countries what are the other countries that are really you know doing this you know which is more common in the other countries malaysia yeah. right is is that like right roading is Yes. Huge, there. Um, and they then have there are something the like every week. Yeah, all really. Much. Yes. Yeah. Um, Isn't it an expensive sport? It, it is. is. It is. It is. I would say it's <laughs> very expensive. But like, luckily, we've had some amazing sponsors yes, who have come on kind board. of okay. supported us. And who have been with us for years. Yeah. So. Well, I don't think we have time to thank them, but yeah. you know, I will thank them on behalf <laughs> of the two of you all. You know, because this is such a great thing for Sri Lanka, and it's you know for them to come on board. It's mm -hmm. such a great opportunity as well. So currently, what are the two of you working on? Uh, we have. Are you preparing for a race? So mm, yes. what's up? What's we next? Have, we have a couple of races coming up, but we can talk about the one in. Uh, We're September. actually running one in September, September. in so Sri Lanka. Yes. Yes. Right, yes. Um, so that's an extreme off-roading event. Is it open for the public? Yes. Yes. Do you want to invite our people yeah, to come and watch? Come. When and where? Uh, on the second and third of September at uh, MA Stulhiria. Right, there you Stulhiria. have it. So second and third of September, if you are in the area, please drop by. What's the area again? Tulhiria. Uh, Tulhiria. So the mass compound. Uh, okay. Yeah. There. So people can come and watch and sort of get a real life yes. experience because yes. no matter how much we talk about it, you know, I might drop by. <laughs> <laughs> so in Sri Lanka, do we? It's still a rising sport, is it? Or are we? Is it it's very common? It's. I would say there is a community. There is a mm. community, but but not but since it's a very expensive sport, house, it must be very yes difficult that to is invest in it mm, and all of that, isn't yes, it? Yes, a little bit. I think that could be like a sort of a negative factor mm. when it comes to off-roading. But um, it's a very fun sport. It's a very exciting sport. I can because you never yeah. know what's going to happen. But yeah. then every year you see more and more people joining. Yeah, in. definitely. So the community because is the awareness. I feel now the awareness is really created for the sport. Yeah. So you get newcomers coming in wanting to try it out. So is this a hobby, or is this you know? Professional? What is it like? Hobby, hobby. Slash 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 someday maybe professional. It's a bit, little bit of both. Getting board. there. Getting there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you all do when you all are free? When you all are off the road? Uh, lot of things. Lot, lot of lot things. things. You're more into fitness as and all of mm, that. As yes. Okay. So. Now I want to get into something you know interesting. You you all might have heard people coming up to you and telling you know stories, and then you must be thinking, no, that's not true. You know, so com what are the common misconceptions that people have about off-roading? Um, 
obviously that I mean motor sports itself is a male dominated sport so yes when they hear two girls mm. getting into this I can imagine uh, yeah there are a lot of questions yeah like really? how do y'all do it how do y'all compete with how do you navigate through all of that uh, do you ignore it or do you just do you know take it as motivation a bit of motivation, motivation I, I think like cuz people are quite like they're kind of like surprised in a good way and you know they're and very like curious of how we I mean we do have like endless support from everybody who like believes in us and yeah who's known us yeah. for like so many years so um, like friends family yeah. always been quite supportive, supportive. right so i'm sh- there are moments where we don't win so how do you all take that defeat up because you know you go through a lot of physical mm. uh, you know obstacles and sometimes if you just don't get it you might be getting a little disheartened how do you deal with that it's it's disheartening at the point that it happens but i guess like cuz every like the sport is in such a way where it's in like stages mm. you can always like if you mess up one stage you can always you can kind of up. like okay. do better in the next, next one stage. so It's which is also a good thing that yeah. we have like short courses and so you can catch up. So uh now being female racing drivers I, because it's a very uh, uh spoken about topic now. How do you you know you're saying people have you know sometimes good questions bad questions has it been an issue for you all? Not really. No, no, not not really. really. Yeah. But that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. You just got to keep your head up to yeah. all of that. Yeah. But have there been instances where you all have felt down, you know, be, but the thing is you all are a team. So you all have each other as well to yes. help you yeah, out, that right? Is, that is yes. a huge True. part, I would say. But we haven't had any like very negative sort of situations. That's I'm a good thing to hear because you know normally people You know, it's it's yeah, a nice yeah. thing to hear that you know you all are coming out. We are coming out of that, and people are in more embracing it. Yes, more definitely. Or probably they see drivers. they see that they see what we are doing because now and then they are like, the okay, so yeah. they talk. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, do you think Sri Lanka, we as a country, do you think we have the capacity to sustain it in the long run? Of course, definitely. Yes. Because we have, we definitely have like a lot of potential in terms of growing this sport. Um, so it's just like a matter of really carrying it out mm. and maybe getting the support and in terms media of media coverage. Yeah, yeah, and getting the word out. So I'm, because I'm sure there are a lot of people who want to try this sport out. If you want to try this sport. Okay, for example, it's I want to try this sport. Do I have to have a vehicle or how does it work? It would work? be easier if you have a vehicle. I mean, mm. if you have a standard like Jeep SUV kind of yeah. vehicle, you can definitely enter into like a standard, standard class, class mm. and try it out. Um and then eventually if you are really into it, you can go into actually modifying a vehicle or running an extreme vehicle. Okay. So you all must be very familiar with, you know, the engines and so if your normal car at home breaks down, do you fix it? Mm-hmm. How does it work? <laughs> we try. <laughs> we try. <laughs> Seriously, or do you all No, I'm asking because you all you all need to know the the no, workings yeah, of a vehicle. Yes. 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 So yes. if something goes wrong, you all need to be able to Yeah, fix because yes, I mean right? vehicles do break so like a not the not the vehicles at home but yeah. during the race we do have breakdowns and we constantly i you, mean we don't have it on your own? No, no we, we do, do have, have a backup, a backup team. team so like when we went to malaysia we had a backup team for us uh even here we have but it's just constantly you need to like just make sure repairing. everything is running yeah. you know when you're driving it like when you're you not driving do you know if something's not right with the vehicle yeah yes, of most, course <laughs> most of the time yes so that's how into the sport i think you need to a, know that yeah. you need to kind of to, feel it yes you know when you're driving you can it just can't be a fact where you just get in and drive you just need to know you just need to have a feel for the vehicle too 
again, let's take myself as an example. If I want to get into the sport, do I have to, you know, head into a specific organization? What is the process like of there getting into the sport? There are events that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like open events? Yes. 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 And then mm. there are categories, like, like she mentioned, saying standard, then you get the standard modified. So you can, if you have a Jeep, if you want to give it a tryout, you can enter. Definitely into the standard If class. the standard, yes, it's just standard, there are no modifications, then you get the second level where there are modifications, where there are certain things you need to match up in your vehicle. So, uh, yeah, you can always, anybody interested can always give it a try. Uh, what is something that you want to tell people, you know, how, how would you want them to embrace this sport? Definitely come watch if you mm. wanna. If you want to kind of get into the sport, I think the recommendation would be to get into something like karting, karting. which yeah. is more accessible, and you know you can try it out, see how is you it feel. Is it more safer? Yes. 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 Maybe Definitely. to start things off, that yes. would be a yeah, good step. Yeah, that would step, be a it? good foundation for any like racing. I would say karting. If you start with karting, mm. and then you could go up the ladder and decide yeah. what to do with it. Off-roading or track racing, rallying, rallying. Yes. Are there any special organizations in Sri Lanka that you know monitor the proceedings of you know racing, off-roading, and all of that? Yes. Your report to any special organization? You know, if they keep tabs on you know the records of what happens at the meets. It's motorsports in general does have a governing yeah. body, and do you all come under that as well? No, no. Uh, off-roading comes as sort clubs. of a adventure sport. Okay. So there are clubs, clubs. that organize events, um, and obviously they keep a record of the results. The results, yes. yes. So as you know, time is catching up. So any you know words of wisdom that you would want to tell our viewers watching us today, you know, anything that you want to tell them. Um. It could be you know, <laughs> inviting them to come and watch you all, or it could be, you know, telling them how to embrace it because it's, uh, you know, for the peep, some people it might be a new concept. So what, anything, uh, you know, a parting message from you to our viewers? Probably for girls to kind of get yeah. into it yeah. because it even though it's a male dominated sport I wouldn't say it's something a girl can't do yes. so definitely for the girls out there to kind of you That's know try nice it message. out. What about you Maurice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think just to chase after your dreams if you mm. want something go after it. Because and I think y'all are a living testament if y'all can do it I think anyone can do it because sure. it's a wonderful sport you know teamwork you know, woman power and I all think of it's that. a lot of it's very nice. Lot of team work. Yeah, definitely. Lot of team effort. Yeah, and I think you all even do everything together and that bonding is also very important. True. Because yeah. even that chemistry is not there, it's difficult True. to connect. You know, yes. so I yes. I guess that plays a very pivotal role as well. Correct. Correct. So I want to thank the two of you for joining us today and taking the time of your busy schedule. It was very difficult to get the two of you together. So I want to thank you on behalf of ITN for joining us today on the Spotlight. And we would want to wish uh, the two of you nothing but the very best in everything that you all do in the future. Thank, thank you. you so much. Well, that brings us to the end of yet another edition of the Spotlight. Make sure you join me again next Monday at 9 p.m. on Vasantham TV and the official YouTube channel of Prime Television. Until then, stay safe.